Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to use UD Pipe. UD Pipe is one of the many tools available for working on universal dependencies. The Universal Dependencies project has been generating a lot of interest in recent years, and I think you should check them out on the official website of the project at universaldependencies.org. This tool, UD Pipe, is by Straka and Strakova from the Institute of Formal and Applied Linguistics, Charles University in the Czech Republic. This is a cross-platform application uh, implemented in C++, Java, Perl, C, and it also has a web service to it, which we are going to be used for this tutorial. And this tool is a versatile tool for working on universal dependencies, as it can be used for tokenization, for tagging, POS tagging, thematization, and dependency passing, which is the focus of this tutorial. So we just get down into this by using the web application by clicking here. It takes us to this clean interface. So we have some of the information we read earlier on back on the upper part, but we, that is not our focus. And the Universal Dependencies project has a, is rich in history. Uh, this is UD 1.2, is one of the earlier versions of the Universal Dependencies project. Well, here yeah, the, the latest version is version 2.0, and version 2.1 is scheduled to be released in November of 2017. Uh, UD Pipe is a robust application and one of the favorite tools of the Universal Dependencies Project. As it was selected as one of the tools for the 2017 Cornell shared task. So let's get into what this tool has to offer. For instance, it has a lot of models and tree bank for all the published three banks on the Universal Dependencies website. So let's, do, let's check this out. It has a lot of languages and three banks in, in it, ancient Greek, scroll down. You can see as many as possible already built in into the tool. For, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using English. So we have to select English and see there are also three versions of English available but they are all in version 2.0 so let's just select one for the purpose of this tutorial and click that yeah. we have the actions option we have tag and lemmatize already selected as well as pass if you don't need to tag and lemmatize your data, you can just uncheck this. If you don't need to pass it, you can uncheck, uh, uncheck this as well. There's also an, adv an advanced option. You can click on this to toggle down. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to be using tokenized plain text because it has an, int has an interface here for us to input something. If you are to process a com header view file, you select this option, horizontal or vertical input, normalize, please this for the tokenizer, so you, whether you want to normalize the spaces, pre-segmented input or save token range. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we won't be selected uh, tempering with any of these options except we have anything otherwise but for this tutorial we're using plain text so let's get started so in this input feed we just type in some sentences maybe one or two sentences uh, economic Uh, 
So we can okay, let's process this first text. Uh, for instance, you can see here from here we have uh, input text. If you need to impute a file where you already have your sentences, you just click here by uploading the file. But for this, we can just make use of the interface provided. Once we have done this, we've selected English version, UD version 2.0, English, the actions to tag and amortize the input, pass, then tokenize plain text. We have to tokenize what we have entered here. Then you click on process impute. See that it has generated some things from for us here, and this is the corn LLU format. And you can be clearly seen when you click on show table. This is the output of the file. This is what we got initially. You can see the sentence has an ID, ID1, because you just have a sentence in there. If you had two sentences, this would have been separated, and we have a sentence, a sentence underscore ID2 right under here. And for usage, you can see the this is not so clean, but you can view this data really well. The corner you format really well by clicking on show table. We have ID, the form, the lemma of the constituent of the sentences, the universal POS tags, extended POS tags, features, the head, uh, dependency relations, dependencies, and miscellaneous. So that is it for corner review. Then we have show trees. It shows you the dependencies of the sentence. You can see from here, we have the root is as, which is the verb. When we show trees, it shows us the links uh, to the links between uh, these constituents of the sentence. We have root on top here, which is as, the verb, news, and sub, now economic and jet you when you click on this each individual note you can see the relations you see the relative dependency relations which is the root the feature and so on and so forth one good thing about this is you can save this tree for use somewhere else so this we can do by clicking on save tree as svg scalable vector graphics once you do that, you can save that on your system for use, maybe in your web application or your documents, anywhere. Okay, okay. that is saved. Then we can just come back here as well and save the other foot, which is going to be a Cornell format. Let's just do that by clicking on this. You can see processed.co. And LLU, con LLU format. You can do that by saving that. This can be used in any areas. Okay, for the sake of clarity, we can add another sentence here and we'll say give the apples to the children. Then we can process this impute again. Like I said earlier on, this is sentence underscore ID of two. This is for the second second center. We show the table the same thing. When you show the trees, you have two trees now. This can be uh, navigated through the next and previous button. If, for instance, you have up to over a thousand sentences uh, on your data, you have up to 1,000 trees and you can navigate through them using the back or using the previous and next buttons. That is one of the many numerous things you can do using the UD Pipe tool and it's trainable as well using your own data and your own data sets. I think that is 
one of these many things you can do with 3D bike. You can as well, the, let's say for instance, you have a file containing sentences, you can just upload them here by clicking here. Then you look for your file from your system and upload the same way it processes the input text. If we are to upload Cornell file, it's request for that. Then you would look for a file in Cornell U format. For instance, the one we just processed this year, and then open that up, then process it. Voila, it's back. Just a sentence. I think this is a very powerful tool for working on universal dependencies. It's also one of the best tools around, and I think if the for, for clarity's sake, the universal dependencies method doesn't have an official tool at this point in time, and I think the UD pipe approach is the way to go. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.